And welcome back, Wolfpack. Today's lesson continues to be on triangle congruence. Uh, we've talked about ASA, SAS, and SSS triangle congruency, and we're just going to keep practicing it. This matches a, up a lot with the triangle congruency worksheet that we started in class, and so a lot of this might be really familiar to you um, and you might be comfortable with already. Your content objective today is that you'll be able to prove triangle congruency and be able to say why that they're congruent, justifying those answers. So triangle congruency so far, let's write out what we know. We know that ASA triangle congruency is two angles, I'm sorry, angles and the included side. That included piece is very important. It means it's the side that is between the two congruent angles, okay? SAS is basically the opposite. That's two sides and the included angle. You should be copying these notes down on your uh, page as well. And then SSS is three sides of one congruent to three sides of another. Okay, nice little recap there. Let's put it into action. Example one, state the additional information that is required in order to prove that the triangles are congruent for each theorem or postulate given. So I show this in the worksheet today, and I'm going to, I'll just go ahead and do uh, a for you, and I want you to try to do B and C on your own. So if I wanted to prove these two triangles, triangle one and triangle two congruent by the SSS, by SSS, what am I missing? Well, they already have that this side is congruent to this side, and ST is congruent to YZ. So we need the third side. So what we need is RS, is congruent, so RS is congruent to XZ. And notice I went from R to S. I went from the side that has the two to the side that has the three. So over here I have to go from X to Z, from the side that has the two to the side that has the three. Let me make sure they're in the right order, okay? Or you could have said, um, I'm sorry, this should not say RS, this should say RT, my apologies. R, T, okay, of congruent to XZ. Or you could have said T, R, or backwards, or I should say it was the other way, is congruent to Z, X, okay? And I'll do letter B, I want you to try C on your own. If I want to prove these congruent by S, A, S, what do I still need? Well, they obviously already have a side and a side, and we know that G, F is congruent to G, F, because of the reflexive property. So there's a side. So now we need the angle. Well, which angle do we need? Well, we need the angle that's in between the two sides. So we need this angle, which is angle P, F, G, is congruent to this angle, which would be angle Q, F, G. Okay? So go ahead and do letter C. What piece of information would you still need to be able to prove those items congruent? If you need to pause the video to do it, to practice, please do. Um, example two is the same thing, you, but just different theorems of postulates. Okay, this is A and B are both ASA. And then the triant, the same thing again one with SAS and one with ASA. Don't forget, like if you look down at example B, they want to prove it by ASA, they give us an angle, so you might be saying, well, I need another side and another angle. Well, you don't need this because we already know that, so we mark that one because that's there. We, we need to find the other piece or we need to be able to say, what's that other piece, what's that other piece that we don't have that we would need in order to prove them congruent. Okay, example three, I'm gonna do a couple with you and we'll finish them in class unless you wanna go ahead and try to do them on your own. I'd love to see what you know. 
We're determining whether the given information is enough to guarantee that two triangles are congruent to each other. So select the correct answer for each letter part. Sometimes it's enough, and sometimes it's not enough. It could be almost enough, but it either has to be enough, sufficient, or not enough, not sufficient. So letter A, the triangles have three pairs of congruent corresponding angles. So A, A, A. Is A, A, A a real thing? No, it's not, so it would be not sufficient. And letter B, the triangles have three pairs of congruent corresponding sides. Three pairs of sides with an S, S, S. Do we know a theorem or postulate of SSS? Yes, we do. So that's enough information. So that's how you complete C, D, D, and F. Okay? So if you can, I'd love to see you go back and try, try these. Try example 1C, try example 2, try to try it, try example 3. See how much of this you get on your own. So when we check it in class, you know, hey, I got this. I know this stuff. I did it on my own, and I'm getting the right answers. Or if you're getting them wrong, you can tell me that you got them wrong, and I can help you figure out why, and we can correct those misconceptions. Hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you next class.